and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Computer, guys. Today, I'll be going over the best ways to build a no money spent team. Now, I usually do this installment like once a month. It seems about right about this time. We're going into the Christmas promo, so I have quite a few things for you guys. So, first, be going over what you could potentially have at this point, kind of give you guys some hope as far as no money spent team goes, give you guys a few methods, ways to improve it, and kind of what we can expect from Christmas that is really going to bolster no money spent teams. And as you guys know, for the most part, I am no money spent. This year, for the most part, so far, I have been, and last year specifically, I went the entire year without buying a single pack, minus my level pack. So, I speak from experience, I know what it's like to go through that, and even specifically on my channel, still not that big, so I don't really spend money on this game. But I will be going over what we can expect around Christmas and New Year, like for the remainder of the next few months that are going to really bolster a no money spent team. What you want to be doing now to bolster a no money spent team and kind of what you want to be looking for. So before I get into this video, guys, as you guys know, it's the 25 days of Pood Miss. So all you got to do to enter the giveaway is these two things. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below the secret word you'll hear sometime throughout this video. Like the video and comment down below your console. Once you do those four things, you're entered to win. Now the winner for yesterday is Creighton Dunbar. I don't know what video he commented on. I, I, I pulled my comments, uh, but he knows who he is. So all he's got to do is go over to Twitter, DM me on there. I'll get back to you as soon as I'm done with everything. And then we can collect. Now, the guy from yesterday did not ever collect. One guy hit me up. The other guy did not from the other day. So I might have to re-roll that one. But as of now, the other guy did hit me up. We're in the process of buying that card. And Creighton Dunbar, maybe up on Twitter. Now, let's get into this video. So first things first. As far as no money spent team, what overall could you be at as a no money spent right now? I think a 92. If you started from day one, if you started from day one of Madden, you could easily be at a 92. Because if you really look at it, I'm a 92. I, my team's probably a little bit better than a 92 because I have a lot of special, I have a lot of luxuries. But if you really went budgety out and you really collect, you know, you penny, you penny pinch your coins, you could easily be at a 92 as no money spent team. Now, I'd say the range if you started from day one until now and you play consistently and like you have free time, I'd say you're between 88 and 92 more than likely. Now, if you're working stuff, you're probably more like an 87 if you work and have school and you're too busy for that. But I say it's a fair range. Now, I'm not going to go over what we should have already. I'm going to do a quick little glance over it. But as you guys know, with all the free players from solos and all the house rule stuff we've gotten, we've gotten quite a few free cards. Now, what's the first thing you want to be doing as a no money spend player right now? Play your NFL 100 solos. Please, please play your NFL 100 solos. At the end of week six, we will be receiving one free NFL 100 player. Now, I don't know if it's fantasy or it is a random pack now what i do know is that we will be getting one so make sure oh it is a fantasy pack it's a fantasy pack but what i should say i don't know if it's gonna be all of them or it's gonna be like three of them like you get to choose from three random that it gives you if it is from all i will eventually give you guys you know the breakdown who to take but for no money spent you're gonna want to be taking more of a depth position guys so i'd recommend someone in the secondary maybe someone in the in the front I don't, you know what i'm saying like it's kind of tough because i wouldn't say like you know maybe not take a quarterback if that is if they do end up releasing quarterbacks because if you take a quarterback you're stuck with him so like for a no money spent team it's all about depth and being efficient so if there's a free cornerback to take more than likely you want to take the free cornerback because you know you can have him for a while because see i'm let's say my team I've, i had a lot of coins or let's say someone like a bigger youtuber who has millions of coins they don't care what they take as a free player because they can just buy a new one when they're done with them no money spent guys has to be you guys have to be efficient with your coins so i'm just saying when this does come time take a position you're probably better off taking a depth position unless you're a fan favorite like someone you're a fan favorite or someone like he's your favorite guy on your favorite team then go for it but i'm just saying like and for the general consensus like that's what i would say now also make sure that you're playing team of the week solos because at the end of the year you also do get a team of the week i'm a team of the year player for free so make sure you're getting both these done these are very important because these are the team of the week specifically is more so timed and if 100 was supposed to be but apparently you can just play them all still so still recommend to keep up to date just in case they cut it off at some point now team of the week is every week so make sure you're getting that done before every tuesday at about 1 p.m because if you do miss that you will not be getting your team of the year token and that which means you won't be getting your team of the year player now with christmas coming up as a no money spent player what can we be expecting for me, like I always tell you guys, I've probably heard the story a million times. Last year, as a no money spent player, I made close to 10 million coins on the Christmas promo doing flipping snowflakes. Now, as a no money spent player, my biggest advice I can give to you guys is to always manipulate the currencies. Because especially because currencies are so volatile. Because like what value is currency? Like coins, we know what coins are. Coins are coins. They have their value, you play the market, whatever. Snowflakes are literally valued based on what they can do. See now, snowflakes first come out, they might be here, right? Madden announces that we're not gonna really use snowflakes this promo snowflakes 
here done they're done so like they, 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 they could bottom out so fast which if you play it right can be exactly how no money spent guy makes tons of coins so they will probably be introducing a new currency for the christmas promo such as snowflakes or snowmen or something or angels i don't know i don't know what the other two but you guys get the point so the best thing i can recommend is you manipulate it so just real quick just to, to cap it out to kind of like give you guys a little overview of what i did last year just in a quick little 30 second span um what i would say is you want to buy one cheap sell one high it sounds it sounds it sounds simple but it's not exactly because you got a good word for this video is elf all you gotta do is comment it down below with your console subscribe to the channel and like the video and you're entered to win good luck play the market specifically when they do do a blitz when the, the way i made my coins pretty much when they did the blitz promo during the christmas promo i would buy snowflakes for cheap the blitz came out the snow rocket the snowflake skyrocketed then they got rid of the offers then it came down again then i bought them again it was just a cycle so as a no money spend player i'm telling you christmas is the time to make money also buy the presents we don't know if they'll be we don't know if they'll be valuable yet but don't worry i will go over all that the presents will be somewhere in the store hopefully just like they did last year when the time comes i'll make plenty of videos for you guys so stay tuned for all that but i'm telling you if you properly manipulate snowflakes and you play the market with the snow cards that's exactly how i and then my no money spent team was good for the year i had 10 million coins and my team was set until the last day of that game i had so many coins that you keep making off and money makes money in this game that's just a known fact which is why as a no money spent player i always recommend you keep coins here this is the biggest mistake you make as a no money spent player you have two million coins. Barry Sanders, Eric Dickerson come out. Um, Deion Sanders comes out and Devin Hester. You buy Devin Hester, Deion Sanders, and Barry Sanders. You're left with 100 coins. Now guess what? You're stuck in a hole. Because there's no money spent play. There's no packs to get your coin value back up. There's no leftover card in your mind. You're using every card you got. So my biggest advice is no money spent play. Never be below 500k to a million coins. Even me, I, I, I barely ever do that. I always stay above a certain coin count because... When the market crashes, the way no money spent players make coins are off market crashes where they where they buy cards for low and sell for high. They make it off investments. They make it off manipulating chroma promos and playing the game. Now, let's say you add 100 coins. Okay, you can build it back up. But you're gonna have to play weekend league, solo battles, solo challenges, seasons for like a month or two just to get that back up to like 500k. It's not that simple, and it's gonna take time. And now you're stuck. You can't get cards. And then when the market crashes, and you know when there's easy coins to be made, like the market crashes, and you see, let's say Antonio Brown down for 15, 20k, and you're like, okay, that's gonna come back up to 40. But you can't make that easy investment because now you don't have enough coins. I always recommend you have cash on deck at all times, coins on deck at all times for no money spent. You know, the Christmas promo should introduce quite a few new cards for no money spent players. It's probably gonna be a some kind of zero chill free uh, zero zero chill free card. Like they had the Leonard Fournette, the Adrian Peterson, the Snow Beast. It'll probably be one of those for free. So you're gonna anticipate like you're gonna like 192 for free. You're gonna anticipate some free out of position players and more than likely they will introduce those upgradable snow beasts or the mutt forever cards again like did last year with michael vick and champ bailey so if you play those right you can also upgrade those for pretty cheap because that's another good thing about no money spent teams training is big because we need to get our player we need to power them up and make them as good as possible because we can't with the force with the next best card now like i said christmas with the house rules and the blitz we're probably gonna get quite a few free things and the presents if you play those presents right i promise you guys you can do a lot now another thing you want to be worried about is no money spent player when it comes to doing this is you want to be able to pick up cards that might not be the most flashy but they're efficient now to explain what i mean by that it's coming to the legends because legends are legends are, are tanking right now i always made my money as a no money spent player should i say i always made my team great by going after cards who are just as good as other cards but not deemed as good so to show you guys what i mean see all these all the legends are crashing here right so all the legends are crashing and you look at it and you're like they're so cheap but you want you want better right but you don't have to let's say a guy like Andre Reed, fully powered up and chemmed up. He is just as good, if not better, than Randy Moss. And he's like 100k less. Like, you could save coins easily. So, what I used to do is I used to take advantage of other cards coming out to get my cards that I needed for my team. So, let's say Andre Reed was 350k. I was like, oh, damn, I really want that Reed, but he's too expensive. And then Randy Moss came out. I'm like, oh, Randy Moss came out. I wouldn't go for Randy Moss. I'm like, let's go check out Reed. I'd buy Reed for a cheap price. There's just plenty of ways to make, to get good deals to like, if you wait for new cards to come out, let's say you want Reed, Dockett, and Clint Portis, a new running back, defense attack, and wide receiver come out, you buy all of them for 100k less because they crashed down, you just saved yourself 300k that you would have spent anyways on those cards. There's so many ways to take advantage. I always, I, my biggest thing as a no money spent guy in years past has been, I used to get excited about new cards coming out because I knew that meant that I can now pick up cards for cheaper. That was always the thing. I never cared about the new card. Now as a Madden YouTuber and a content creator, I always care about the new card because I have to make videos on them and I have coins on to do it. But literally, I, if I got a text from a friend saying that 
I knew Deion Sanders came out. Well, I wanted Deion, but I think, oh, cool, I can go get Pat Pete now, and I go pick him up for cheap. It was always the way to do it. Like with NFL 100 cards, guys, I promise you, every time an NFL 100 card positional card comes out, make sure you go pick up their counterparts. So when they drop Barry and all them, you could have went and go picked up Portis or some other running backs. Now, some of these guys are too good to, like, even say you should get them. Like, some like Lawrence Taylor, you kind of want Deion Sanders, you want. But I'm telling you, if you just wait, like, when they drop wide, if you want wide receivers, wait for the NFL 100 wide receivers drop. If that's going to be when that happens, you can go pick up plenty of wide receivers for a great price. Now, I think that pretty much wraps up my best tips I can give you guys. And I promise you they work. I've been here for, I've been playing Madden since Madden 13. I have never really spent money on this game. I'm kind of, it's kind of my thing, not spending money on this video game. Now, guys, I promise as of next year, starting in Madden 21, when this channel is a lot bigger, I'm probably going to be very heavily money spent. But that day, you know, I, I deserve that. It's been, it's been about eight long years of playing mud. I deserve to finally be rich in Madden to, to the fullest extent. But that day will come. Hope this helps you guys. Don't forget to enter for 25 days of food mist. You probably heard the secret word already. All you gotta do is comment that word below and your console. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit that like button. Once you do all those things, you are entered to win. Thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy your football Sunday. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.